We got a plane permission and we tendered it and our friends Novus won the tender and they started building it in September of 2014. Well, communication is the key really, especially on a project of this nature where it's really important that we, we understand the technical detailing that the architect was providing us with, but also the personal touch with this being his house that he was going to live in after the construction works. Um, we needed to understand what his precise requirements were. We used all the passive house um, techniques, so we have very high levels of air tightness. 0.6 of an air change per hour. We paid a great deal of attention to thermal bridging, so the avoidance of heat loss through, through sort of poor details. We've got very good U values um, for the walls and the floor and the roof. Hence, overall, this is proved to be a highly efficient design thermally. So there was various um, design features that the house had in order to improve the thermal efficiency. A um, key one of those was the triple glazing. They also had 250mm um, wide external cavity walls, special brick ties to avoid um, cold spots, so numerous different design features. We have got it to the point where the dwelling emission rate is 100% better than the target emission rate. So uh, we are very close to being carbon neutral in this building. We do have some interesting technologies in the house. Because the house is designed to a very high level of air tightness, it means that uh, we have to use what's called a mechanical ventilation with heat recovery system. So that is taking air from the outside and bringing it into a unit and the heat that is being extracted from the dwelling is exchanged with the incoming air. Various elements of uh, renewable technology were installed on the, on the project. Um, we have solar, photovoltaics and also air source heat pumps um, which are partly used to, to, to heat the underfloor heating that were in the scheme as well. I was fortunate in actual fact that the, the builder that won the, the, the tender, Novus, was very, very capable in managing this. Um, and I think we, 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 as building owners, my wife and I, are extremely pleased with the way the building is performing. Novus were very good in how they dealt with relations with our neighbour. As with, again, any construction project, when you're dealing or operating so closely to the general public, there are inherently risks that, you, that are associated with that. The key uh, factor in, in, in combating that is regular communication, and that's what we had on this project, whether that be through a cup of coffee that the site manager shared with the neighbour, or whether that be through a more formal uh, programme update where we shared activities, um, both methods were used. The design tactic of splitting the building into three elements kind of naturally created a courtyard. We'd created a space that needed uh, to create some kind of scene for us to look at. I've always been interested in Japanese philosophy and design. It seemed a very obvious thing to, uh, to put a Japanese garden uh, to, to look at, to be the focal point in many ways of the whole house. There may be some odd details that I would change, um, but you know, 99% of it has come out the way I, I wanted. And quite frankly, that's, that's as good as it was ever going to get. And I'm th we're, we're both thrilled to pieces with it. <laughs>